this is a quick video to show how to convert wind loads to equivalent static loads on structures now the static wind pressure is calculated by the equation qs is equal to 0.00256 v square where v is the basic wind speed in miles per hour and based on qs this is qs we calculate a quantity called qz qz is the uh, magnitude of velocity wind pressure at various elevations this is dependent on uh, height and also other factors such as kzt kd as well as the importance factor uh, i uh, qz is the velocity wind pressure at height z from the ground level I is the importance factor which is one for office buildings and it increases as uh, as the importance of the structure increases for example if you're talking about uh, hospitals police stations public facilities this value uh, is uh, higher which is 1.15 uh, there is also a table uh, from which you can find the value of uh, I depending upon some factors such as the level of hazard uh, and also depending upon the velocity in the region you can pick the value of importance factor i now the next factor that we need to determine is kz this is the velocity exposure coefficient which accounts for the influence of height uh, above the grade which is a base and exposure conditions this varies from uh, a to d where a is large city uh, city centers where 50 percent of buildings are higher than 70 feet b is urban and suburban settlements c is open terrain and d is flat and un unobstructed uh, areas exposed to wind flowing over open water for a distance of at least one mile so you can see that uh, case d is most critical because it is you have a plain surface and you have a single building which is exposed to all the wind however if you are in a city you have some buildings around your uh, main structure you see that the wind gets dissipated as it passes through these buildings so impact is lesser in a city now the value of kz is calculated based on uh, these this table where this is the height in feet and this is the exposure condition based on the height that you need for example 40 feet you can pick the value from here in case your value is uh, not here you need to interpolate between the values available the next important factor is the wind directionality factor which is kd and the topographic factor kzt kd uh, is chosen from this table uh, which essentially classifies the, uh, uh, the types of structures and the corresponding values of d kzt is the topographic factor which equals to one if your structure is on level ground however if uh, the slope of the ground is other than zero you have to refer the manual to get the value of kzt once these values are done we get the value of qz now there are two other factors that we need to calculate we need to find one is g which is the gust factor which is 0 0.85 for rigid structures uh, and cp uh, uh, is calculated uh, which is the external pressure coefficient is calculated uh, which, is, which is which is which establishes how a fraction of the wind is distributed on the other sides of the building so if uh, you know that these phase that the wind acts upon is the windward side windward face and this is called the leeward face and these are the side walls now on the windward face the value of cp is 0 0.8 however on the leeward side it varies from 0 
minus 0 0.2 to minus 0 0.5 uh, which we will be looking into again and then uh, on the side walls the sides of the building the CP is a, a constant which is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 now on the windward side the CP value as we discussed earlier is 0 0.8 however on the leeward wall this value varies from 0, minus 0 0.25 to 0. Point minus 0 0.5 this is a function of this ratio which is L over B which is the length over width uh, of the plan dimensions of the building uh, and you can see that this is the wind direction and you see these suction pressures acting outwards now we see that only the wind pressure on the windward side varies with the height while all the other pressures are constant with height. Now let's look at an example to calculate the equivalent static loads corresponding to uh, some uh, wind conditions on a particular structure of height 100 and width and length being 660 feet. The question is to determine the wind pressure distribution on four sides of an eight-story hotel located on level ground which means that kzt is equal to one consider strong wind acting on phase a b the wind and the building should be designed for basic wind speed of 130 assume the building is classified as stiff because its natural period is less than one therefore the gust factor g is 0 0.85 the importance factor i equals 1.15 and the building is located on level ground as we talked earlier the first step involves the calculation of the static wind pressure which is QS equals 0 0.00256 V square which is 0 0.00256 into 130 square which is 43.26 the next quantity that we need to calculate is QZ to calculate QZ you need to multiply QS with some numbers essentially some constants which is I, KZ, KZT and KT I is the importance factor which is 1.15 given to us in the question KZT is equal to 1 and KD is 0 0.85 this is all given to us the KZ depends upon the height the height of the structure now to get the peak value of QZ you have to take the highest value of KZ uh, highest, you, get, you have to get the highest value of KZ which corresponds to height is equal to 100 feet so this is taken from this particular chart uh, where we take a value of uh, kz corresponding or uh, depending upon the exposure condition now in this case we see that uh, the value of kz is 1.43 you can see that that corresponds to uh, the classification d uh, so it is told that the classification is D. What we do is we go into this table, we go into the height that is required, we go into the exposure that is given to us, and then just find the value which corresponds to this. Now, once this is found, we can substitute all of this into this equation and find the value of QZ. The third step involves the calculation of the design wind pressure, which is P acting on phase AB. Phase AB is the windward side. Is the windward side or the side on which the wind acts. The gust factor is G and as I told earlier CP is 0 0.8. When we substitute all of this we get the value of P as 41.1. Now something that we need to note here is this QZ is dependent upon KZ which depends upon the height of the structure. So this P varies with the height. That's why we have this variation as we see on the picture. You see in this picture. Now the value of CP as I mentioned earlier is 0 0.8. The next thing what we do is to calculate uh, to in the first, fourth step we determine the wind pressure on the leeward side which is this face. This is the leeward face. Leeward side. Uh, and we see that this value CP 
depends upon uh, the ratio of L over B. We see that the sides are 6 and 6, therefore L over B ratio is 1. So corresponding to 1, the value is 0. Point, uh, minus 0. 0.5. That value is chosen here. G is 0. 0.85. We substitute all of this. We get a value of minus 25.67, which is constant with, with depth. And then the next step is <coughs> to compute the wind pressure on the other two sides. Just perpendicular to the wind pressure, we see that the CP value is minus 0 0.7 uh, all the time, and then G is 0 0.85. We substitute all of it, we get the value of um, design wind pressure on the side walls as minus 35.94. Thus, we get uh, we are able to convert a particular type of wind uh, based on also based on the type of the building, the type of the loading, the type of importance factors, we are able to convert particular wind to equivalent static loads, uh, which eases the analysis as well as the design process for uh, wind loads. Thank you.